All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's finally go uh, talk to Sam on the Hyperion. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Yeah, Addison's a bitch. Yeah, meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Was he in the cryo bay still? I've been getting a shit ton of robocalls as of late, and I, I hate it. I really hate it. I'll make it right, Dad. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were going to start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. All right. Leg's feeling a little better. Looks like... Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the cat. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. Yeah, me too, but they're to blame. It wasn't your fault. It's obvious the cat aren't friendly. Nothing we did could have changed that. I suppose you're right. It's just not what you dream about. You meet a new species, and three seconds later they're trying to kill you. I hear you, but I guess that's life. Not everyone will see things our way. In the meantime, chin up. It'll get better. Yep, rest your leg, rest your head. All those wounds. All right, who... Was there other people I could talk to? Greer. Greer, how you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father. And Kirkland. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah, it just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but Kirkland was a friend, and I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. Habitat 7 was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. Thanks again. Yeah, it was a terrifying thing to experience when you first get to a new galaxy. Hayes? Ryder. Hayes, how's the oh, wound? God. Doc says I'll live. So, this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. Okay, the camera freaked out multiple times during that. That's fun. Doc? Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yeah, but still, we lost a Pathfinder on my watch. Doesn't sit right. My dad knew the danger. Part of the job. Now I just need to make sure your brother here pulls through. Staying on the Hyperion has my brother. Why'd you come to Helios? Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Huh. Uh... Ha, right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. 
Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. Well, we'll miss you. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Deal. All right, um, how's bro? How's Scott doing? His condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so he's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment, coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! Circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another writer. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. <laughs> a chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. I mean, well, you know, most midlife crises is you just want to come back from. You can't come back That's from That's all, this. Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Scott, I'll let you know. All right, let's go talk to Sam. Adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Why the secrecy? I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious, like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So, what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Will it hurt? Will it hurt a little bit, apparently. I'm still the boss. Well... But the human's still in charge, right? Of course. I was never intended to supplant the Pathfinder, only to support and enhance your abilities. Good to hear. So what's the plan? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Well, we picked this one already. Go to your ship. Let's go. Let's stop by his quarters first. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Thank you. Your father's first sidearm. 
a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Shit. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Oh my god, the Normandy! Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Samnode? Okay. We'll we'll look we'll check this out later. Let's go to the ship our ship. Docking bay. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. All right, well, let's get going. Yeah, let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Very true. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. 
The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. This will be an adventure. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Okay, down to the bridge. Better head we to the bridge when we're ready to go. Room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Pathfinder, check this toy. What you got, Liam? Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is. Especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat 7. <laughs> Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. More choices, has the best help, adapt to survive, right. We can craft our way through, turn the junk we find into an advantage. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after we're through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. All right, research and development. Wait, was there a side quest sitting there? Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. I wonder how fast that engine core clocks in. Okay, let's check out downstairs before we hit the bridge. Oh my god. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Pretty goddamn nice. Yeah, well, let's go with that. Customize colors. What does this change? Color of the pants. Color of the sleeves. And then this is the body. Can I, there we go, that's the rotate button. Looks pretty nice. Pretty good so far. All right. I say we head upstairs and get moving. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. All right, well, hi, Gallo. Uh, I'll keep us out of trouble. Still learning the ropes. Yeah, we're all learning. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder, running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. 
I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. Sounds it was good. optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, yeah. if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. I never planned to be Pathfinder. I don't know what's out there. But we're the Milky Way's best and brightest. We can do this. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Okay, well. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Opening Two the field outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. It just sticks it right in the galaxy, man. That's fun. System, Ithias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Okay, we'll do that in a moment. Where is Eos? Right here. Good old scan in the planet. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the CAD. All right, take us down. Okay, so we got some other stuff from the old Noob Game Plus save. Let's put a pistol in. We'll go sniper rifle, yeah. Or we should probably do shotgun then sniper. There we go. Armor. You always gotta go with the N7 helmet. And then we go with N7 armor. Armor looks good with his current colors, too. Alright, so. Incendiary ammo is always good. Leah and Corum. Liam and Corum. Leah and Cora are the only two we've got. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy? Hope we're all that ready. Callow? Alright, 
Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? You said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? This is exactly why we came. A new galaxy, a new ship. I can't wait to get both a little dirty. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. You got this, right? Set us down at this nav point. Okay, How to even start? Without helmets? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EOS deployment. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago new. Who else is here? They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. Oh, that's the blue on the, uh... Whatever the fuck that is. I don't know what that is. They didn't is. have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Alright, let's take a look around. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. I think she meant for the future, Sam. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Data pad. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Okay, so they were still trying to grow things here, or they managed to grow something here. But, deadly sandstorms! Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Terminal. 
message. Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. All right, let's check the logs. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Okay. So we're not the only ones interested in what storms, radiation. Let's check out this relay the tower. Was out of some thinking setting us here. EOS might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Shit. A wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contaminant. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, oh, that door is there. locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Getting the footprints off of this would be really, a bitch to profile. Right yeah, really. It's fun. Structure you got verticality. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. people here. You thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm actually here to help. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look. I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Leave it to me. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. I've killed a few of them already. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Generator interface possible. Location marked. And that's number two. We've got company! <laughs> Come on, gotta get over there.
weren't kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. All right, Clancy. Time to put up or shut up. You took down all those cat. Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Uh, and you didn't take it? Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Okay, he's got a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. Inventory is full. Let's reset. Yes. Sell salvaged. I guess crazy blue. Okay. He's got a little house set up here. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Alright, let's do a little search and salvage. Probably got some data or materials that could be useful to us. What the hell was that? Oh, it was over there. Let's take a look in here first. What do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Okay. Data pad. Okay. Let's get a move on. Special requisition. All-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Okay. Here's hoping it's as good as the hammer. Here. Activating automated forward station deployment. I can change my loadout. Oh shit, Vetra's a companion, that's right. Let's 
Let's fucking do it, Looks girl. like the forward station supplies are... Now that we've got the access code, let's go get our ride. Get extractor exit. Okay, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you so, so, so very much for joining me in our foray into Mass Effect Andromeda. When we return, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna investigate the strange signals on EOS and see whatever else this hellish radioactive desert planet has for us. It kind of sounds a little bit like Tuchunka, doesn't it? But I uh, thank you so much. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, and slap the bell button to get notified when I post more shit. And if you're on Twitch, please drop me a follow, and I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.